Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. Hold up, boys. I had it easy in my mind we was headed for Basaw. Well, you see, Lloyd, we ain't never been to North Fork. Fact of the matter is, we heard talk that Micah Torrance is headed there. We've been aiming to do him in, as you well know. And I thought we was gonna make us a pot of money in the cow business. Now, you don't have to tag along, Lloyd. You know that. I know that, Andrew. I just thought I'd ask. You answered? I'm answered. I just can't see how a crippled old drunk figures so large. If it makes any difference, it's a family concern. I'm going with to watch. You might just acquire a bullet hole right through your mean old heart. Another old bum with a skinful, I guess. No. No, that's not just another old bum, Lucas. It's Micah Torrance. Not much left. But when I knew him, he was the finest peace officer on the border. Yeah, Fred. Come on, old timer. Come on. Come on. shelter. Thank you, sir. How long have I been out? You lost a day, Micah. Why, hello, Brad. It's been five years or so, ain't it? Or like ten. Micah, this is Lucas McCain. Mr. Torrance, I've heard a great deal about you. Nothing complimentary, I trust. I'm getting old and better, Mr. McCain. Useless. I was a good peace officer once. Fast. Too fast. Quit thinking. Started letting my gun hand do my work for me. Don't ever let that happen to you, friend. Cost me this. My nerve. You're lucky, Mr. Torrance. Not many men with your reputation lived long enough to take off their badges. Don't call me lucky, son. Thanks for the lodging, sir. Now, possibly you or your friend here could advance me a few dollars. I seem to be temporarily without funds. I'll pay you back, sir. You can depend on that. No, you won't. You're a drunk. I wouldn't give you a dime for a drink, but I'll give you a job. You'll give me a job? Doing what? Swatting flies? Building fences, mister. Hire out to me, you'll do a man's work, if there's any man left. Mr. McCain? You just hired yourself a hand. One of them, anyway. work, and I don't cotton to it. Mark, this is Micah Torrance. He's got to help us build a corral. He's going to try. How do you do, Mark? 
How do you do, Mr. Torrance? I'll sleep in the barn, Lucas. Oh, you can stay here, Michael. Later, later. For the next few nights, I'm companion to owls and brothers of the dragons. You know what it is. Companion to owls? <laughs> Can I help Mr. Torrance? Do your own work, Mark. Visitors, Lucas. I don't see nobody. Just a case of the whips and jingles, Sonny. I better be getting back to town. What are the whips and jingles? Oh, uh, animals of a sort. Come in various shapes and sizes. Pretty big, generally. Now, you wouldn't know it, but I got a big one sitting on my shoulder right now. Saddle me a horse, Lucas. No. It won't work, I tell you. I've got to leave. And start walking. You ought to make town by sunup. <laughs> you can't help me this son. He's got to do it by himself. Now sit down and finish your dinner. Used to be a peace officer, son, one of the best. And, well, then he got a hurt, and he went all the way to the bottom. And now he's a—he's afraid. He's afraid to carry a gun. Afraid to bet on a star. So he drinks too much. Whiskey, you mean? Yes. You know just how he feels. I took a big swallow once. Arch Quinn dared me. Guess I felt sick for an hour afterwards. Oh, I bet that taught you a lesson. Taught Arch, too. He got sick just watching me. <laughs> Jane, I'm useless here. Whiskey make you work better? Supper, Will. Could you provide? Sign here, please. Ooh, we ain't spelling men. Just make your mark, boys. That's Andrew. <laughs> and that's Flory. He figures he's twice the man his brother is. Andrew and Flory. Shelton from Tennessee. We may not be much on spelling, but we could surely do our own talking. It's four dollars in advance, please. I'm from Mobile myself. Name's Carpenter. Lloyd Carpenter. I'm exceptionally pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss... Uh... Moore, Nancy Moore. Hmm. Well, Miss Nancy, this little town could become a city of delight if you'd uh, accompany me to dinner. We'll see. Too old for you, Nancy. Besides, you don't know anything about it. 
I've grown up, Uncle Fred. Well, I'm not arguing. Reckon every cowhand this side of Whiskey Creek is remarked as how you filled out. But being grown up means considerable more than putting on a little weight. Don't worry, Uncle Fred. I can take care of myself. Hey, Marshal, anybody by the name of Torrance been hanging around this town? There's a Micah Torrance working at the McCain Ranch. Where might that be? About 15 miles west, just past uh, Granite Creek Ford. Well, let's have a drinking pair of respects, huh? Are we going to get drunk, or are we going to finish Torrance? Well, we was drunk the first time we met Torrance. Only seems proper and fitting we're drunk on this special occasion. Flory, I do believe it's your scare, that old man. What in heaven's name do you boys think you're doing? You ought to be ashamed of yourselves, breaking up property, destroying the peace like that. They're so country, they've never been inside anything but a corral. Throw them in jail, Fred. Lock them up. Now, just slow up, Mr. Bartender. The boys will pay for the damages. We'll pay up, but we won't go to jail. That's good. Everybody's nice and friendly like now, Marshal. Pay up, Flory. Say when. When? Drinks are on the house. Well, let's have a drink. Warren, why don't you boys slack off and have a bite to eat? I ain't gonna spoil no $50 drunk for no four-bit meal. Well, then why don't you go pay your respects to Torrance? We'll take care of that in the morning. If it's all right with you, Mr. Carpenter. the Shelton boys. You see, Andrew? A marshal never forgets them he shoots holes into. We're still packing your lead, Mr. Torrance. Must be ten years or so since I straightened you boys out. Figured you'd be hung by now. Well, we don't hang easy. What are you coyotes doing around here, anyway? Looking for some eggs to suck? We're looking to have another try at you, Micah. Go get your gun. You're way too late, boys. I ain't been able to draw a gun in five years. Just pick it up. Why bother with me? I'm already dead. I aim to make sure. Let me have it. Not today, boys. Right out. You're trespassing. Hold it, Andrew. I heard stories clear down in the Texas about a man and a rifle like that. He's right, we're trespassing. Come on. We'll be back for you, Micah. And right soon. 
Hierher! Looks like it's time I pulled out. I'm sorry, Micah. You shouldn't be. You can't afford to have me here. Drawing flies like those two. The boy around. Stay the night. Yeah. Uncle Fred, you're welcome to come to supper tonight. Sit up there. Leave it. We ran off with our tails between our legs, didn't we? I thought it was a thing to do at the time. You just full of cautions, ain't you? You thinking I made a mistake, little brother? I think that this here is a puny. No account saloon in a puny, no account town. Mr. Bartender, you have been paid. In advance! For it, Lloyd. You finished with Torrance? Well, you see, Lloyd, there's this McCain feller, and he came up behind us, and he was packing this rifle. And... Yeah, I heard stories around here about him. You boys were lucky to make it back. <laughs> Don't gravel me, Flora. You boys are through in North Fork. Tonight you sleep in jail, tomorrow you ride out. Now, don't be hasty, Marshal. I plan on staying. Your privilege. But these boys are leaving. No. Nope. You don't understand. These are my boys, Uncle Fred. It's far enough. Get over here. You keep it shut or I'm leaving you behind, you understand? Now, boys, this town ain't got a telegraph or a peace officer. But it's got a pretty little girl. And money enough to make our stay worthwhile. What about McCain? You boys behave. I'm going to deliver him to you. Lock, stock, and rifle belt. Don't feel bad, son. The marshal went out the way a lawman figures to, taking care of his town. <laughs> Where's your dad, Mark? He's inside, saddling up. The Shelton brothers shot Marshal Tomlinson. I tried to stop him. <coughs> Collected this for my trouble. The whole town's treed. Everybody said, go get the rifleman, so here I am. <coughs> You're making a mistake? No. It's my town, and Fred was my friend. I didn't ask for this, but it came. And I'll have it. You're way too quick with that rifle, Lucas, boy. Now get the gun and start thinking about men. You're riding into town on nothing but the word of a stranger with an easy way and a hole in his hat. I'll keep my eye on him. You better. You don't know who he is or where he came from. Maybe you want to come along. Somebody should.
stay here with Mark. Michael, stay with you, son. I left him in the saloon. I'm told him what happened since then. Your father's riding into more than he can handle. He's the best shot in the world. That ain't always enough. He's a fool going in blind like that. Too sure of himself. So who are you to talk? You're not a marshal anymore. Who are you to go telling my pa what to do? It's a good question, son. Shotgun slugs, boy. Carry three times as far as buckshot. They came in handy once. Maybe they will again. Now go get me a horse. Go ahead. They know me. Got yourself killed. This one's still breathing. You want him? Andrew! Step out! Hold it, son. That's long enough for me to reload. Well, if it ain't the old marshal. Gonna try it one more time, Micah? I reckon. You're gonna have to get a lot closer to make that scattergun pay for its freight. That's my intention. That's far enough, old man. I reckon it is, sonny. Like you'll be staying in town for a spell. No. I'm taking him home with me. All right, son. I'll ride out every few days just to keep an eye on things. All right, Marshal. Come on, Paul. 